Good evening, buddy. How are you? Give me a second. Mm. Give me just a second. Mm hmm. You guys said I should change it, so I did. You asked for it. That's what it is. No, no, I'm not eating, actually. Well, I wasn't. It was a candy, though. It was a candy, I must admit. Give me a second. How do I do this? Yeah. Ah... Uh. Returning chatter. Good evening, Dev. Yeah, yeah, you guys complain about my... It's the first thing I found in the closet. It's becoming cold, so... Um... Good evening, nerd. Uh, yeah. What did I want to say? Uh, yeah, give me a second. So, so today we're going to start building a new feature and that's going to be the meetup feature. So we're going to kind of clone this platform to some degree, hopefully going to make it better for programmers. But uh, the idea is that we kind of implement uh, a meetup, meetup feature, right? Um, that's the idea. Uh, will we do that today fully? Of course not. Uh, and I've done already some back-end work uh, off-stream uh, after work today. Um, and we'll need to kind of, so we have a meetup, we have a meetup event and blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. So we'll see, right? Um, and then we'll use obviously heavily ChatGPT this session today because we can automate a lot of this work uh, instead of writing code manually, right? And stuff like that. So, um, yeah, so today we're going to be doing that. Uh, so actually, I'm going to open draw IO, right? And um, let's create some plan for ourselves today, right? So essentially, we're building a, so we're going to have things like this. So there's a meetup, right? There's a meetup. And then you can create events off of a meetup, right? Then there's a user. User basically creates a meetup. User also creates an event off of that meetup, right? Um, what did I else did I draw? Then there's going to be a notification when me when uh, for people who are basically subscribed to a meetup, right? So we're going to get there in a, uh, eventually. But there's also notifications, so every time an event is created. Uh, logged in users should get, or any user should get notification. And then when meetup, maybe post some announcement or whatever, there should also be a notification at one point. You guys complained about the pictures, so I just set it there. Um, so yeah, so, so let's, uh, let's play with this, right? Um, so I already created a meetup and meetup event. Let's take a look at those tables. Um. Thank you very much for the follow, fellas. I very much appreciate it. So, so yeah, today we start a new feature and the, the just to give you the context why. So the reason why is that uh, once I'm back at the end of the August from vacation, uh, we're going on 7th of August, I'm going to restart the Copenhagen JavaScript meetup that I used to run before. And uh, I'm going to heavily then obviously push programmer network in that sense. So, so yeah. So that's why I want to build a meetup feature. So when I restart my meetup, I can share that and then make people sign up, right? All right, so meetup has a title, description, location, creator ID. I think I also started building this feature in the backlog. I'm actually going to be gone in like five days as well, but I will stream every now and then just from a different place. All right. 
So let's go to to an event model here, and then so. Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah, hackathon is fine. Meetup, hackathon, workshop. What else did I write here? Event type, workshop, network. Yeah, that's actually that's actually pretty. I don't know React uh, React Native, so unfortunately, you can ask a question, but chances to get a useful response, at least from me, are minimal. Thank you very much, Kirill. Thank you very much, my friend. Appreciate it very much. Good, Leo. Good. We're just building a new feature. Uh, we're going to start building a meetup feature today. And I'm just designing the model now. Time and date. Start date, OK? Location. I'm going to talk about that soon, but I need to focus a bit now. Give me a moment here. Location. Text string. Allow now. Mm. Patient type online, offline. All right, location type, that sounds off. Like how would we define the, that location type? Yeah, online, offline, maybe virtual, in person, something like this, right? Events type, meetup, hackathon, workshop, location. So an event has a title, description, start date, end date, event type, location, type, location. And then, then we'll need basically attendees, right? Event attendees or something like that, right? So for the, so essentially for the meetup, we're going to need like, how does the meetup.com calls them? Let's, let me find some meetup. Yeah. So attendees, yeah, attendees. Hmm. Members, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we can do members as well. And I guess we'll need an uh we'll need a different table for that, right? So we're gonna need an additional table here. We'll call this meetup members schema. Meetup members. All right, so let's go to chat GPT and just ask it more. Build two additional tables. 
one for meetup called meetup members, which will contain a list of users that are that have joined that meetup. Additionally, create a, a, a another table for events called events. These will contain a list of users um, that's uh, signed up to join the upcoming event, right? Good evening, man. How are you? I'm very good. How are you? That doesn't sound that bad. I just did that with my wife. Meetup member schema. Yeah, actually. What? What did I do now? Oh, shit. Okay. Nice, man. Nice. We just started the stream, so you're just, you're right in time, just in time. You're JIT, event attendee schema, okay. So this is the most important part of software, right? Finding your models properly. If you do this right, everything's easy. If you fuck this up, everything's hard. So let's see, event attendees, event ID, user ID. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's that's very important, right? It's very important again to to uh, properly model your data, right? That's fundamental for um, yeah, just drop everything exactly. You know, you have to be skilled to achieve such something like that as well, right? Meetup member scheme, all right. That's that's interesting. Um, mm -hmm. Let me focus here for a second. Event schema, event attendees schema, event attendees. So let's call this meetup event attendees. I need to uh, prefix those things with something meaningful, right? What is event, right? What is an event, right? Let's also do this, right? All right, let's just review this. So we have a have that, that's fine. Meetup members. Meetup members, that's correct, right? Event schema, meetup event, beautiful. Mm-hmm. Meetup. Oh shit, what? Meetup event attendees. Yeah, that's great. Okay, so let's go to set up Postgres thing to my where I centralize this stuff, right? And let's uh, let's import those fellas over here, right? So, so I'm gonna say somewhere around here, I assume meetup event attendees schema, and it's gonna be meetup member schema, right? Let's see if we get an error instantly when we try to initialize this. Maybe we will. Maybe we will not. Okay, we didn't. Let's actually refresh our tables here. Let's see if they're created. 
we should have. So you can see we have a meetup schema here. It's empty. We have a meetup event. We have meetup event attendees. And then we have meetup members, right? Um, so that's, that's, that's correct, right? Um, so if we go back here, right? So we have, uh, we have a meetup. Meetup can have uh, members, right? So it's one to many, right? Right. Then a meetup can have events, right? Then events can have attendees, right? One event can have uh, attendees, right? Members are users, yes, yes, of course. Yeah. Everybody is users, yes. Meetup has its own users, yes. It doesn't matter what the terminology is, members or users, that's not relevant, right? Uh, user is a very generic term, right? So it doesn't matter. It could be users or members, right? But you're right. There's, I don't think there's right or wrong, right? But we could, we could call it like that, meetup, meetup users, right? All right, so we have that. So meetup is the fundamental thing, right? That's the, that is, that is, this is the big guy, right? This is the main guy. And then we create you, you cre create a meetup. And when eventually you create an event, right? You say, hey, we're going to have a Copenhagen JavaScript meetup on 7th of September, right? And then people can, uh, click I attend, I'm going to attend, right? Which basically is this table. And then uh, members are just people who follow that meetup, right? Uh, yeah. And then we're going to have some sort of notification as well here, right? So when an event is created off of a certain meetup, we're going to need a notification, right? So uh, eventually we're not going to do that right away, but, uh, Eventually, if you're following a specific meetup, right, uh, you should get a notification, for example, when that event happens, right? So that's going to kind of be, we'll see how that's going to work. But in simple words, right, when the event is started, right, uh, you know, notify users, notify a meetup members when a new event is uh, created, whatever. What fire a job tonight? What, what do you mean fire a job? We have a notification system, right? It's very simple. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna use the same system, right? I know, I know Winsworth and, and I, I want it to be like that, right? You can see the footer when you are on a login page and you can see it in some other views. I, I don't want the footer, footer, footer to be visible at all times, right? That's not a bug, it's a feature, right? There's no point to look at the footer. Uh, you look at the footer once, you see what's there and you're done, right? Nobody's going to be clicking on the footer nonstop, right? Exactly, don't drop the database, yeah. So, so, so that's, that's what I want to Winsworth, right? I don't want footer to be visible here. There's no point in that. If you want to see a footer, you, people who want to see, they're going to see it when they browse the site, they're going to read this crap and you're done with the footer. There's, there's nothing, there's nothing interesting in the footer, right? There's nothing that you want to go back to right now, at least, right? No, no, there isn't. No, there isn't, and there isn't going to be for a long time. Exactly, exactly. Only legal crap, yeah. 
we're not using server-side rendering and we will not use it for a long time. All right, so this is great. So we do have the tables now, right? Um, now we can heavily use ChatGPT to kind of help us with some stuff, right? Um, okay, so let's uh, utilize let let's utilize ChatGPT now for what's it's literally the best in the world for, right? So what I'm actually going to do, and and look how you can prime it. So basically. Uh, so let, I'm going to take a piece of this code. I'm going to take some controller, right? I'm going to, I'm going to just cut some of the stuff right from here. I just need a piece of code to prime the AI, right? Get articles. So basically what I'm going to do now, I'm going to come here and say, given this fastify controller, write a whole CRUD controller for creating meetups. So look at this, how amazing it is for this type of stuff, right? And then we're going to do the same for the router and stuff. We're going to basically build the whole backend in one stream, right? Uh, because why are we going to do that? It's because this is always super generic, right? It's, it's just CRUD API. It's the same stuff pretty much everywhere with different names, different properties, right? So we're, you're, so if you're still writing those types of things manually, you're wasting a lot of precious time, right? So I just gave it, I just primed it with the stuff that I have and now we're gonna do this. So basically, right? And now we have at least basic stuff for now. So we can create a meetup. We don't need those useless comments. We can get a meetup, right? We can update the meter by ID. So is this fully done? Of course not, but it's very far, right? And what do I do next, right? Well, I give it the router, right? So I go find some router somewhere and I say, hey, well, you know, based on this, write the routes as well, right? So I go here, let me try find some simpler one. So I'll say, Given the router like this, right? The same for meetup. Yeah, there we go. And it's gonna do that for me now, right? How amazing this is. I mean, this is literally magical. This is so amazing. I don't have to type this crap, copy paste my existing code, manually do this. This is the type of stuff to you want to automate, right? So, so chat GPT for me is like all about automation, right? It's not even about the help that it provides. It's about automating tasks, which are completely generic by nature, right? Yeah, exactly. Unit tests as well, like whatever, right? And I can also tell it, please uh, write all the uh, um, AJV schemas as well, right? Because it knows the structure of my models. It can also write my JSON schemas as well for me, right? So this is just, uh, I mean, at this point in time with the technology that we have available as developers, if you're doing this manually, it's not good, right? If you're doing this manually, that's that's not good for you, right? <clears throat> I I don't like the I don't like those extensions for VS Code yet. They're very annoying. Uh, I have uh, Chat GPT for VS Code and stuff. That's the only thing that I don't do in VS Code because I don't find it easier. I find it actually more. Uh, I, I find it more. Um, All right. Uh, give me one second. It's called uh, something lens. Uh, give me a moment. Let me just uh, finalize this, and then I'll 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 show you.
am I actually importing this fella? No, I'm not. Okay, interesting. So import. Is this the thing? Is this? Oh yeah. Error lens. Error lens. Exactly. Yep, that's correct. Yes. Okay, so you can see. Uh, and look at this now. Look what I'm gonna do now, right? So I'm gonna literally tell it to do the same. Do all this. Router, controller, and schema also for events. What else do we have? We have meetup and events, right? My pleasure, man. My pleasure. Great question. It is a, it is a useful thing. All right. So we automated that fully, right? It's a default theme with a, with a background extension. How amazing is this, right? It's just absolutely ridiculous, right? So let's go now to config and routes. And here we're gonna actually include the meetups uh, router, right? So I'm gonna say API v1 meetups. And then we're gonna say meetup router. And then we'll go up here and we'll just import it. So we're gonna say meetup router from meetups router, right? It's not, it's Postgres. It's Postgres database. Oh, I see. So it's saying that it can't find find the schema. Are you what? Yeah, yeah. It's 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 uh, it's Postgres. It's Postgres. Give me one moment. Why is it complaining about? Ah, I think it's complaining because we're missing the extensions, right? Most likely. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. So now if we actually go to our swagger, right, if we open up our swagger, right, you can see that we're going to actually have those endpoints already defined there. And again, with, with absolute ease, right? So actually, we're probably not going to see them because we're missing the tags. Let's see. Yeah, actually, here they, here they are, right? So we have some basic CRUD for it. We'll probably need more of them, right? But you can see meetups, meetup ID, meetups, meetup ID. So I'm going to obviously omit this meetup thing, the singular thing, but yeah. I agree. I agree, Kirill. I agree as well. I hate it as well. I mean, it's not that I hate it, but I, I agree with you that it's, it's, not, it's not nice. But I'm sure that they're going to remove that in time. All right. So let me go to the router. Let's clean this up a bit. So we don't need this uh, prefix meetup thing, right? We, so we want it to be, so we're going to do this. We're going to update this. We're going to update this, right? And then we're going to do this. And then we're going to use Postman inside of, um, we're going to use Postman inside of uh, VS Code, right? To, to just test this. And, 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 and then, so once, once we're fully done with the backend or, or done to the big degree, we're going to then move to the front end and start building the UI for this. Let's go to chat GPT. It should have generated for us other stuff. <laughs> I mean, it's almost the uh, event, event body. Marulo, good, uh, good evening, buddy. And thank you everybody for your follows guys. Very much appreciate it. Uh, okay. Is this the, the fastify. Okay, so The follow alert. Yeah, I mean, screw it, right? It doesn't matter, right? I'm not in much into that, but it, yeah, I actually haven't noticed. Uh, thank you very much for say, uh, for pointing it out. Will the will the OB? Yeah, yeah. It, it it knows how to generate the schema because I gave it my model already, so it knows the SQLized model. Hence, it can generate the schema off of those things, right? It's it's quite intuitive, right, for it to understand that. Um, all right, well, let's keep on doing this a bit uh, kind of heavy lifting here. So the next thing is to create a, another resource here. Let's call it meetup. Meet 
I, I actually hate that meetups, events, meetups, two, two plurals, right? Meetup events. Yeah, let's call it meetup events, right? Mm, interesting. No, no, no. We I, I, let's namespace this all under meetups, right? So it's okay because it should be there. It's gonna be meetup and then slash. Yeah, exactly, right? So so it's okay. It's okay, right? So this those are the schemas, right? So let's grab this bad boy here. Let's go over here, right? Let's save this stuff. Let's get rid of this event response schema. Yeah. And then we're gonna rename that slightly bit to, to be a bit more explicit in its naming, right? So this should be um, meetup event body schema. This should be meetup event response schema, right? Yep. Uh, where is the controller? Well, you write the logic. That's what that's what I need you for. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> uh Ah, okay. My bad. All right. So it, it forgot the model. It forgot the model. Okay. It for, it for, it forgot the context, right? So it's okay. It's okay. So let's let's go and give it a model. So meetup schema event schema here is the model so you don't have to assume it all right beautiful Beautiful, exactly, exactly, Leo. Beautiful, beautiful. How amazing is this technology, right? It's insane. It's absolutely insane. No, no, it's so useful, man. So useful. Just think that we would have to write all of this garbage manually just because we need it, right? Ridiculous, right? Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, I mean, we would just get back to writing how we wrote it before, right? It's not, uh, it's not, uh, you know, you know, it's not really, right? I, I mean, I don't think you can, I don't think you can block it, right? Like, I mean, I don't think you can block it because you can always use VPN and stuff. So a person who knows what a chat GPT is today probably also knows what a VPN is, right? So I don't think that you can actually block it, right? Unless you, you really like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, those people, I mean, honestly, I don't think they're a target group anyway, right? Like my parents don't know what a floppy disk is, let alone what you know, uh, 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 VPN is, right? So, um, uh, well, it's pointless to write tests for those microcontrollers, right? It's uh, unit testing. This is completely pointless, right? But for business logic and for utilities, I agree, right? Testing, uh, testing your controllers that do this, 100% pointless. It's literally useless unit tests. Unit tests that provide nothing. Uh, what did I want to do? Uh, yeah, actually, yeah. So if we go back here, what, what are we missing, right? We're missing, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. So we're missing the actual, um, we're missing this, this stuff, right? So we'll need to update this slightly now. 
So if we get somewhere down here, right? Is this the controller? Yeah. Principal prompt engineer. <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, you can laugh as, as much as you want, but that job is literally going to exist. That job is literally going to exist, and I'm not even kidding with you. I mean, you already have jobs in Silicon Valley that pay 200 grand a year uh, for people who can use prompts and improve them, right? You can Google that. I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not bullshitting you. you. You can actually go and check it out yourself, right? And that's fine, right? I mean, honestly, right? The, the, the most important thing we can do as a species, as I always say in this stream, instead of bitching about things, we have to adjust ourselves. We have to adapt. We have to, we have to keep on learning, right? Because if my job is going to be a prompt engineer, so be it. I don't give a shit, right? I'm going to be following whatever comes next. And only thing I can do is, as, as an ind individual, I can do my best to, you know... <laughs> To, um, to just, uh, you know, like, just be there, right? Be present and that, that's, what, what can you do, right? Um, you know what I mean, right? That's, that's the only thing you can do. Only thing you can do is, yeah, like, try to, to stick, stick to the trends and keep learning and that's it, right? Um... Give me a second. Um. Meetup ID, okay. Yeah, that's correct. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. thing is, I mean, keep on working, right? I mean, the thing is, if you have a full-time job, right? And if you, if you work for any decent and a normal company, right? You're already in a process of adjusting, right? So, so I, I don't think that this is something that one has to, like, you don't have to wake up and think about this explicitly, right? The thing is, right? Uh, you know, as long as you have a full-time job, you're working in the center of the industry, you're already doing, right, things that... Um, uh, things that need to be, the, right? So, so what I'm saying, like, you don't have to, right, like, uh, explicitly think about this. Is like, nothing's going to happen, man. As long as you're kind of there and working and stuff, that's it, right? I don't think that, that one has to, like, break his mind with this, right? Like, Vanix, oh my God. Hey, Vanix, my friend, how are you? My nickname, Alexander, is the best is gone. Unacceptable. So this is basically uh, for creating an event, right? So meetup ID. And then I guess, should we say create event or something? And that, that kind of su sucks, right? So maybe events. So let, let's kind of be careful here how we suffix those things, right? So here we have a meetup ID. Let's maybe say here events, events, and then event ID, right? Also, let's say here, ah, okay. So events, great, great, great. Good, 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 good. I like that. I like that. All good. Beautiful. Get event by D, meetup events, event ID, beautiful. 
post events, great. And then here put events. So, so we always gonna have to include meetup ID. And then it's gonna be beautiful. Okay, that should be fine now, almost, I guess. Ah, we have this fella as well, okay. Ah, I see, I see. There's some references somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. All right, beautiful. I'll change it back for various Alexander in three months when Twitch left me. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Oh man. Uh, let's call this uh, meetup event. Meetup event, yes. And let's let's fix them up a bit. So get all events we already did. Get event by ID. So we did that one as well yeah mm -hmm. create an event right so so let's uh yeah so we yeah but meetup id is not gonna really come from there so it's gonna be like const yeah exactly beautiful update events Beautiful. No, man, you can't leave. I'll miss you, man. I'm just kidding. Thank you very much, man, for being here all the time, all right? I wish you a beautiful, beautiful vacation, man. And uh, we'll see each other when both of us are back. Uh, we'll see each other when both of us are back, man. Thank you for, for sticking around, man. Enjoy yourself. All right, meetup event, V1 meetups, meetup ID. I'm not sure what do you mean, which type of functions I prefer. Function is like, a, it's like saying uh, which, uh, which electronic device should I use in life, right? Should I use a washing machine, a cell phone, you know, a uh, vibrator, right? What do you mean, which functions do you like, right? Function is just a encapsulated thing that does something, right? API v1 meetups, meetup ID, events, event ID. Okay, that's beautiful. That's great. I like that. Of course, we're missing some of, some of the, uh, some, some things, right? So we are missing, uh, we are missing the following controllers um attend an event uh uh join a meetup become a member I think. Yeah, yeah, I changed. I mean, I changed the. I changed my my picture, right? You guys complained, and then I then I used the, the new picture, right? Actually, didn't update it yet, but. Um... It's just the, me and my colleagues when we are in a stand up in the morning. 
we do this sort of stuff. Beautiful, right? We, we you know, this is just our standard standard meetup at work, standard uh, stand up at work. Beautiful, beautiful. I agree. I agree. Oh shit. Okay, good. Absolutely beautiful. I agree. I agree. Couldn't couldn't agree more. Couldn't agree more. Boss? I don't have a boss, man. We don't we don't have bosses at Dream Data, right? Um, I mean, I'm a I'm a boss of some sort as well, but uh, it's it's a lot of fun to work at Dream Data, man. I mean, it's always fun in every company I worked, right? Uh, so, uh, but yeah, there's no such thing as boss, and nobody cares, man. I hate a word. I, I genuinely hate the word boss. I really hate that word. Uh, there's no such thing as a boss in 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 my in my book, right? Company is a thing that you decide to join. It's just a group of people doing working together. So I'm not a, not a fan of uh, I'm not a fan of that word. To be very frank with you, a boss. Um, No, no, I mean, we all have a boss technically, right? Don't take me wrong. It's just we 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 don't use that word boss, right? It feels kind of... When I hear that someone is calling themselves a boss, they probably have, you know, a tiny penis or something, right? It's It, it has to be that. There has it, 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 There's no other explanation, right? You know, if you have to remind yourself that you're a boss of someone, then it's clear, right? It's clear. Um... I mean, I mean, likewise, man. I mean, I love working with people. I love this job, right? Because it's 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 working with great people, right? I think I think one of the reasons why you want to 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 learn to be good in life, to have some school, some good education. When I say education, I don't mean university. I just mean I think we are incredibly fortunate to be working this industry, right? Uh, and um, The thing is, right, I mean, yeah, I, I don't know how to say it, right? But I think this industry, we're fortunate that we, we work with very smart people and uh, mostly very kind people as well. I mean, it's also, it really boils down also to your own perception. For example, if you're a, if you're a person that, so, so this is what I genuinely believe. Like if you're a person that constantly finds shitty people, right? Like, Probably that means that that person is shitty itself, right? Like I, for example, never in my career, maybe once or twice I met people, maybe one or two persons in my entire career for 15 years that were not good people, right? So I think there's a lot of personal expectation as well. Like if you're constantly getting offended in life, for example, then probably the issue is with you, right? Not with others. If you're constantly having an impression how other people are bad, Right, uh, then if, if every boss of yours is a shitty boss, then you have to ask yourself, right? So so a lot of times, right, a lot of times you have to look, yourse look, look yourself in the mirror and say, wait a minute. I mean, you know, if, you, if every partner you have is shitty by your standards, so what is, so what is the chance statistically that always others are bad and you're not, right? So in simple words, I think generally I, I meet good people and... I have no complaints, really. Uh, I never had. Um, it's just, you know, how you carry yourself uh, is going to reflect a lot how you're going to perceive other people, right? Because if you're a shitty person, then expecting that someone on the opposite side is going to be an amazing... Not going to happen, right? That's how it works. I see a lot of complaints on LinkedIn and stuff, you know, about all sorts of things and when I see that, I'm usually like, all right, I see what's happening, right?
I think this is called event me. Ooh. No, actually, that's fine. That's fine. All right, that's great. So I think this we renamed to what? Like to uh, meetup event attendees. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, and then if we put this bad boy somewhere around here, right? Uh, like this, right? So let's see if that uh, <laughs> still works. It does. Uh, okay, let's take a look at this bad boy here. Um, the, ah, actually, we, we probably still need to, not probably, most definitely, we still need to build a, I don't know if this fella has done that for us. No, I don't think so. No, yeah. All right. All right, Alex, I can provide that for you as well for free, man. Just give me a second. Okay, that's partially inaccurate, but it's okay. How can I how can I complain about something as amazing as this? How can I do that? How how could I ever do that? What what what, what was this about? This is a 10 event, okay? Delete event, update, create, get event by ID. Okay, let's put this fell. Thank you everybody for your... Uh... So wait, so meetup events, right? Right. Events, right? And then event ID attend. Beautiful, beautiful. Response is going to be uh, 200, I guess. So... So there's, let's say there's no response schema, so we're not going to, and then parameters are going to be event ID. There's really no body here. Yep. Jamu, thank you very much, buddy. Thank, thanks a lot. Let me see what uh, someone wrote. I mean, we all have some things that we went through at some point of our lives, learning the hours of the day or staying extremely late to go more learn more. Absolutely, HP. I mean, we are we are from the same country, same culture. I feel you, man. I went through, I lived through two wars <laughs> in my life and all sorts of other stuff you don't even want to know. So I think, uh, uh, Tumbo, good, good evening, buddy. So I, I'm fully with you, man. I, I, I have uh, this perception of mine that I have has been, in fact, shaped by all these events. Uh, in, in a way, I'm actually happy that I went through them, right? Because perception is so so important in life, it's crazy. Um, and to 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 build up a good perception, you you need to go through some things. Otherwise, you know, if you don't know how it is to have it bad, then it's very hard to know how. It's very hard to know how is it, how is it, how is it to have it good, right? So it's sometimes actually useful to um, to not have things really great, right? Because you forget that join meetup. Uh, ah, yeah. Yeah, okay, sure. Meetup. Yeah, meetup, great. Shit, sit on Rashata. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, that's so true, man. It's so hard to translate that to in, in English, but uh, we did, man. We did, man, uh, without a doubt. Uh, uh, what is it called? Meetup event. That, that's what it is, man. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? So, and it's really true. It really does. It really does. Um, all right, beautiful. So let's see. So we have this fella meetup event. Join that so we can join the meetup. Okay, we need to obviously update that. That's wrong. So where is the slash join? Yes, so we don't really need this bad boy here. We'll actually just actually not gonna have any response. We'll just say false here, right? And then we go here and here. And then over here we're just gonna say rest dot code 201.send 
And uh, let's make sure that, uh, yeah, this is request user ID and then attend event. Yeah, correct out user that ID. I think it's constant learning for everybody, Leo, right? It never ends. That's, that's, that's the beauty of life, right? If we stopped learning, we would be dead, you know? Actually, if I go to my blog, right? I think I had a quote somewhere, very old quote here. This is like a, my very old website, my very old blog, right? And actually, if you read this quote, it says, there's no end to education. It's, it's not that you read a book, pass examination and finish with education. The whole life from the moment you're born to the moment you die is a process of learning, right? And that is true, right? That's 100% true. Detroit, what's after dying? Uh, <laughs> who knows? We'll see. We'll either see or we will not. That is pretty binary, right? We either might turn into dust and there's nothing more or there's more. Who knows? Let's see. We're still far from being getting there, right? But it's one, zero or one for sure, right? Yeah. Okay, let me just uh, focus on this for a second. So we can get the events, we can create them, we can attend the event, we can get the single event, we can update a single event, blah, 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 right? Um, obviously, we're gonna have to add, uh, right? Uh, we're gonna have to add some decorators, some middleware here, right? So for example, uh, yeah, for uh, creators, right? So, so if I go to my uh, Fastify decorators here, right, you can see, I think we have one for the courses, right? So for example, wait, let's take a look at that. So you see it's course author. So we're gonna have the same, right? For the, for uh, meetups and uh, stuff like that, but we can do that later. So authorization, like more, more fine grained authorization, right? Yeah. Can you suggest, can you suggest me a web development project, which I will be doing for my one credit academic course. I also need this to my resume. Um, I don't think I can suggest you that because it would be unfair to you, right? You have to pick a project that you are passionate about. So let me ask you, like, is there any subject in life that you're passionate about? Movies, music, uh, instruments, food, uh, sports, video games, right? Uh, nobody can suggest a project to you, just as nobody can, can suggest the project to me, right? because nobody can know what I want to do more than I am, right? I'm, for example, I'm a musician, right? So for example, if I wasn't building a programmer network, I would probably be building something for music. I would be building platform for musicians or some software that helps you, you know, practice guitar or something like that. So I would always be building, or I would build something for medicine, right? You know, my, my wife, she's a pharmacist. So I would probably build something for uh, f pharmacy stores to make it easier for them to. So, so right, I have a bunch of ideas, not that I had to sit, you know, your wife is a doctor, there you go. Uh, so, so I have a bunch of things that I really want to do. And, you know, one day, maybe when we have more time from programming network, we're going to do some other project, but I really wanted, want to do those things. It's not that I had to like, oh, what should I do? Uh, what could I build? There's so many things that I wish I had the time to try building, right? So you have to ask yourself, what is that for you, right? Nobody can, you know, tell you, hey, what should I build, right? Well, I mean, uh, none of the technologies that you're listed really are related to each other, right? So uh, it's very hard to give you a, a, an answer that's useful, right? You, you, you're you right. Um, <laughs> they're completely not related to each other, right? So so whatever you learn is, is fine, right? But uh, they have no correlation, right? Well, well I mean, uh, based on what you wrote, you're probably focused on front end now, right? So. Why don't you handle error messages in Enum? I'm not sure what does that mean, honestly. 
uh, I don't, uh, and of course it's my code, yes. And error messages are, all, all the errors are handled uh, on every single level of this project. Um, okay, beautiful. So we have built most of the API, I think. Now we can actually start testing it. <laughs> Everybody, Everybody's loving my profile picture. Beautiful, beautiful. Please help me decide whether to start by learning Python. Like no matter what you start learning, right? Once you learn one language properly, you can learn the other 10 in no time, right? So so learn whichever one you, you find better for you, right? Because at the end of the day, we all have our feelings, right? There's no right or wrong language to learn. You can learn both Python or Node. It depends what you want to use them for, right? But once you learn the how to build APIs, once you learn the concepts, once you learn what it is all about, then learning another language is just a matter of learning a bit of different syntax, learning the community, learning the modules, learning, and maybe 10, 15, 20% of difference, right? So it doesn't matter which language you learn first. Once you learn one language, good, then you can learn uh, anything. Luinvest, thank you very much, man. Appreciate it. Dev, good, uh, good evening, buddy. So it doesn't really matter what you what you learn first, right? Just learn something, right? My pleasure, man. Thank you for the thank you for the support, man. My pleasure. And thank you everybody for your follows. I think are we at four thousand people already? I think. Give me a second. I think I was a, yeah, three more people until four thousand. Cool. It's not that it me. It's not that it means anything. It's just a, It's just a number. Uh, all right, so so great. So let's move to our postman now, right? Let's move to, to postman, right? And um, thank you very much, guys. Don't don't uh, I'm gonna get uh, red in the face, but uh, you know, for those of you who are new here, I just say things the way that I think they truly are. I have no agendas, no. I just say things that I think that are true and. I have no, uh, uh, I have no, uh, yeah, uh, different uh, personality on the stream and different personality in real life. It's just, uh, yeah, that's how it is. Um, I'm always trying to be real. Um, meetups. Um, so let's create a meetups resource. How many are registered in the network? I think I'm going to lie, Tombo, maybe around 700 right now, 800, something like that. I think it's something like that, but don't, uh, I can actually check the number if you want, but I think it's around 700 something right now. All right, so let's start testing this stuff, right? Uh, how many are active? I don't know, probably not many, probably not many, right? A lot of people sign, or actually maybe I'm wrong, right? At least I have actually haven't checked the, the, the dashboards in that sense. Maybe many are active, who knows, but I can see that, you know, uh, not many are posting anything, right? And it's fine, right? I mean, this is this is how it is in all platforms, right? Those numbers are arbitrary, right? Because, um, right? We're building a new feature, Jace, uh, called meetups, right? Like meetup.com. So we are building a, a feature where, you know, I'll, I'll talk about it soon. I'm going to present it, especially once we finish it up. Okay, let's get back to coding a bit. So let's start uh, testing those endpoints, right? So we're going to... So let's create a new request here, uh, add requests. And um, so I think we... Poor guys, they're not getting any response from me. Uh, Alex, I asked you the same question an hour ago and you didn't tell me the answer yet. Create create a meetup. Sako, getting getting to you in two seconds. Let me just uh let me just do this, please. API URL slash meetups, right? Let me just hit this. Route meetups not found. Okay. Is it what is it then? Uh router. Uh, config routes, where's the meetup router? API, we want meetups, yes.
I see, I see. Do you think that it's true that any code that can be written in JavaScript uh, will eventually be written in JavaScript? I think I think fun uh, one fundamental thing that many developers and even even super senior developers haven't understood so far is that um, uh, languages have lost a lot of importance, right? Uh, the new thing today in this community of software engineers is getting things done. So as I've said many times in this stream, when you hear that someone at Google, for example, is a 10x developer, what does that mean? Probably what you think it means is that person is like God in writing 500 programming languages. But that's not the case. What 10x developer means, it means someone who is delivering value constantly, someone who, who can understand the product well, someone who can understand the customer problems, someone who can be there for the customers, for the rest of the teams in the organization. So for example, when you hear about, uh, I'm actually reading this book now, it's called uh, the, 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 the uh, Staff Engineering Path, right? So this is, this is like for the staff engineer. This is, this is kind of the top where you can get. What does that mean to be a staff engineer? Well, it means exactly that. So it's not about JavaScript. It's not about Pythons, Rusts, whatever. Nobody cares, right? Companies care about value. How do I build an engineering team that can build products fast you know, build products relative to 5 billion other products that you compete against. You're, when you're building a product, you're not competing about another JavaScript product. You're competing against other product that's cheaper than yours, better, solves the problem better, whatever. So in simple words, is, is everything that can be written in JavaScript be written in JavaScript? Who cares? Yes, of course. I mean, if you can use one technology and deliver value faster, cheaper with hiring less developers, et cetera. Of course it will. Why wouldn't it, right? So, so, so I mean, um, right, so, right, so, so nobody cares. Right? Like, like people have to let go of this notion of languages, right? Um, uh, that, that somehow they're the most fundamental. They're not, right? Your, your sales team, your product team, your PM, your CTO, your CEO, they don't really give a shit about your language, right? If you can deliver values fast, that's what they care about. Is that going to be Rust or JavaScript or C Sharp or Java or PHP? I mean, nobody fundamentally cares except you, right? So, and this is going to be way more emphasized as the time goes by. Now when we have the AI, you can see that I just wrote a whole API for a feature barely by writing any code. I, I literally told AI what I want and it gave it to me, right? So don't put coding skills too much of an importance anymore because you, you, what you can write, a tool can write now as well, right? So, so 10x, especially soon, is going to be someone who tr truly tries to understand the product, understands the problem, and stuff like that. And you can, of course, sweat all you want on fucking Twitter and, God, and follow the gods, those expert god modes, perfect programmers and stuff. That's all bullshit, man. Like, the only thing you should focus on is get things done, right? That should be everybody, mine, yours, and stuff. If you can get things done, because I always say to people... Imagine that you're starting a company yourself. What type of person would you want to hire? A person who can get things done or a person who is just like wasting five hours a day on thinking how to name a variable or a, a person who spends three hours a day thinking if they chose the right framework, right? It's not that they're mutually exclusive. Like you can still have a insanely good productive developer using any language, of course. But at the end of the day, man, the value, the, the outcome is what matters, right? So yes, things that can be written in JavaScript are being written in JavaScript for 10 years already. Most of your desktop applications today are written in Electron.js. There's a bunch of mobile apps that you use, which are progressive web apps. Even Internet of Things, IoT, there's no JS IoT community, which is huge. So because nobody cares, man, nobody cares. I don't care. I, I'm always going to choose a language which is simplest, which is simplest, right? That's how it works. 
that's how it is. That's the reality. One can like it or not, but it doesn't make it less true. It's the reality. That's how it is. That's how it is. 25 gold, good evening. So that's why it's always say, enable yourself to build anything and that's how it works, right? Enable yourself to be productive in any language and you're going to be on a very good spot because that's all that matters. You can either build things or you can't. There's that's that's what it is, right? Languages, you know, come and go. And what we considered, uh, you know, 20 years ago, Java was like top of the world, right? Visual Basic was like, oh my God, Visual Basic, this amazing language, right? So never forget that, that at any given time in, in, in programming history, right? Some languages that we laugh at today, they were like, oh my God, this is so amazing, this language, you know? And that changes, right? It's normal, it's, it's evolution, right? Of course there is. I mean, again, I'm not suggesting that you're going to write uh, uh, CPU drivers in JavaScript. Even if you would want to do that, that's impossible, right? Of course, right? I love it. I love it a lot. Uh, I love it a lot, Sako. I think it's really good. I think it's really good. Um, um, it's a new programmer network logo, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, give me a second. Fuck. What did I want to do? Headers. Yeah, yeah. Ah, shit. Ah. But didn't I like... Yeah, that's a bit strange. Why do I have... Ah, okay. What? Okay, wait, guys, uh, give me a second. What the hell happened here? Cookie, cookie, cookies. Oh, man, Sako, you, 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 you messed with my brain, man. Jesus Christ, man. I, I forgot what I was doing. Fuck, motherfucker, okay? You'll, you're, you're paying for the next beer, man, like all of them. Well, you actually did buy me a beer last time, but... Fucker. Wait, how, how did I do that? Okay, good. It was uh, it uh, the one that we had uh, you and I that we, that I got us. It was better. Yeah, hey, absolutely, guys. Hit uh, send any questions, of course. Just give me a moment. I need to. All right. So wh why is that not working? Wait. Yeah. Why? Why is it? Why is it complaining? Your token is blacklisted. Okay. Is it maybe this thing that's kind of messed up? Give me just two seconds. Your token is blacklisted. What? Just give me a second, fellas. I, I'm battling here with Postman. So let's go to local. Let's... Give it maybe initial value as well. I don't know what's the difference, to be honest with you. All right, never mind. I'll well, just try this. Okay, screw it. All right, let me just read the questions. Uh, I think I found problem. I've noticed whenever Sako is in stream. He is my real friend. That's why probably he triggers me. Hey, Alexander, I make a website where I can watch my Facebook page likes. Let me actually do one thing here uh, just for a second. Wait, how do I, how do I use uh, Twitch? How do I use Twitch? 
wasn't there like a pop out chat yeah it's super hard to focus when i need to give me a moment yeah i mean if i care about you i'm generally rude give me a second here let me just put this this thing um How do I? Jesus Christ, man. Okay. So hard. So hard. Okay. All right. Let me read. I got a question. I'm trying to make a website where I can watch my Facebook page, likes, and other social stats. I want to organize my screen with widgets, but APIs will have different data. How can I do this? Some. Will this AJV work on my on uh, on any H? I'm not sure what do you mean by HTML project. You need uh, you need to install AJV and stuff like that, right? So no, you need to install uh, AJV and then extend it with that. All right. So so wait, my pleasure. Okay. So let's start testing this. So if I go to the body. It's we're getting a uh, we're getting a bad uh, bad request when we when we actually hit this. This is Postman. This is Postman. Just Postman inside of uh, VS Code. Creator ID cannot be null. Okay. So let's start fixing this stuff, right? So let's close this. Close this. Ah, okay, I see, I see. Beautiful. Date is required. Okay, title. Beautiful. Date is required. Didn't we provide the date? Yeah, we did. <laughs> Date, location, description, title. Title, description, location, date. Yeah. I mean, you guys should maybe try to click some notification stuff. I mean, I, that, that's kind of sad part about this thing. I mean, I get like 20, 30, 40 followers every stream, right? But then I don't see that people are like so. So it's probably the notifications on this platforms are not uh, platform are not super great. I think I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. I I know very little of Twitch, probably less than yourself. So wait, let's see what's happening. Let's put a debug point here. Let's just run this in a debugger. So we do get the date here. So why is it complaining that so we're not passing the dates? Yeah, that's super strange. Okay. Message date is required. Okay. Let's actually see what's happening. So let's go to the router. Body, title, description, date, string, format, date, time. Yeah. So that's actually correct. So what the hell is going on, fellas? Post to meetups. Yes. Title, date is here. Yeah. Uh, I, I think guys like if you go to meetup.com it's gonna give you the the best uh, the best impression uh, right of, of what we're doing here right I mean I can of course talk about it now and waste 20 minutes right but in in two seconds right you can you can you will understand if you go there right Ah, 
Ah, okay. So, so basically, I see. So essentially, what's happening is that our schema is not. Yes. So probably, if we do error, error message, right? And we say format, yeah, right. So now we should actually see that the format is probably wrong. Or what else is it? It's going to work in, a, in a, almost exactly the same, right? Just for programmers, right? And it's going to be just in, integrated with the rest of the platform, right? I think it's going to be more apparent when we... Uh, going to be more apparent right once we once we actually reach a point of uh doing the ui now we're still building the back end right man this is like crazy what the hell what what is happening meetup body schema wow I mean, l let me try one thing, right? Let me try. No, no, but I don't think that the format is the problem, right? Because if the format was the problem, we would get the that error, right? So give me a moment. Uh, so what if we remove the format and we just say, hey, this is a string. Let's just see if it's a formatting issue, right? So it's not a formatting issue at all, right? But maybe, maybe it's the response schema that's complaining. Yeah, I think this is, yeah, probably. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I think we have the, yeah, so this is the problem most likely, right? I guess. Meetup response schema, let's see. So what if I just say false here? Yeah, so that was the problem, right? Okay, I see. I see, I see, okay. So if we take a look at our database now, right? If we go to meetups, we should have created one. Did we not? Give me two seconds. So if we create it. Yeah, of course, everything's local. Yeah, so we can see created at updated location. Ah, okay, okay, I see. Ah, all right, all right, my bad, my bad, my bad. Okay, so so actually this is a meetup. Meetup doesn't really have a date, right? So let's extend the the the, the let's 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 extend our model, right? And this is going to be the date when, but we don't really need it because we do have created at and updated at, right? So. So actually, no, this is fine. We, uh, so this endpoint indeed is not in fact taking a, uh, a date at all because this is a meetup itself, right? So we're gonna kind of nuke that and that's great. We're gonna do this and yeah, meetup response schema. So we have ID location. So location, so this is wrong, right? Yeah, so we don't have that. So it's ID, title, description, organizer. Um, really? No, I don't, don't think so. I don't think so. Wait, wait a minute. Model creator ID. So we have a creator, right? And then we, okay, okay. So I guess the creator itself, we're going to do a join there and then alias that as an organizer, right? But we don't really need to do any joins on the creation, right? So I don't think that's actually necessary. So this is Sako, no, unacceptable, unacceptable. So actually, let's leave this like this. And then for 201, we don't really need. So we're going to say here, hey, when I create it, uh, we're, gonna, we're not going to actually have any response, right? So let's try this again. And if we go and take a look at our database, right? We should have three, core, three, three meetups created, right? Beautiful. Good night, my friend. I'll talk to you later. All right, great, great, okay.
So let's do the simple ones, right? So we're focusing on back end and probably we're going to finish for the, it for the most part and then tomorrow we can do the front end, right? So let's go to our postman and uh, yeah, as you might uh, notice, as you might assume, we'll create a new one and we're going to say, uh, oops, update a meetup, right? Update a meetup, right? And yeah, it's going to be put, right? It's going to be... Uh, API URL, meetups, and then meetup ID, right? So let's hard code number one here. And then we're probably gonna just take um, take the body from the um, from the uh, from the creation, right? We're gonna go to raw. We're gonna send some JSON. We're gonna beautify that, and we're gonna. So let's. So let me do one thing. So I'm gonna go to set up Postgres for now and I will just comment this thing out because right now when every time I save I new call my development data and regenerate so the faker regenerates it every time so for now I'm gonna comment that out just so we and then let's actually create a meetup with the name foo so we can see and it has an ID of four right so let's actually create a put for uh, let's create an update thing let's go to um, Let's go to, 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 to headers and just uh, for now manually, we're gonna do this. So here we're gonna say cookie and then we're gonna give it a, our um, JSON web token. And then here we're gonna say, uh, hi, uh, hey Joe, Jimi Hendrix. Organizer is required. Okay, so we can kind of see clearly uh, Uh, okay, so create meetup, update meetup, yeah. So we need to obviously, um, so we're not gonna do any any response from here as well. Params, properties, ID. And as you can see, we did update it. Now hey, it says, hey Joe, right? If we actually go to our database, let's close that one. So if we go to, to meetups, right? We should see this updated to Hey Joe, right? HP, hvala tebe, brate. Uh, come anytime. It's always nice to have a countryman coming here. Enjoy your enjoy your evening, man. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll catch you up another day, okay? Thanks a lot, man. <laughs> Peace out, man. I'll see you another time. Cheers. All right, beautiful. So so update now works as well. And um, yeah. Uh, great. Uh, so so let's uh, let's continue, right? So uh, so let's do the, the basic ones. Um, we have the delete one and stuff, right? So we, we can implement that very quickly as well. So let's open our so so for example, so uh, one very important kind of thing is like, you might wonder, hey, Alex, why did you switch from um, Thunder client to um, how, why did you switch from Thunder client to Postman? And I think the Postman is generally a better tool, and, and it also by default stores those things in the in the cloud, right? So all of those endpoints that we set that we save here, it stores this JSON configuration into the cloud to your Postman account, right? So if I open up this on my laptop when I travel and I build this project, I don't need to push this in a Git uh, to 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 Git and stuff like that, right? Leo, sleep well, my friend. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Create update. So let's do the get. Let's say get meetup. And then let's say four. That's a very good question, Fireball. I, I don't know. I mean, probably, but I tend, I do my best not to say things that I w I'm not sure about. So I don't know. I genu genuinely don't know. User is associated to meetup. Okay. That's a very good question, though, honest. Get meetup, okay. Uh huh.
Mm. I'm not so sure about this. Give me a moment. Mm. Uh, give me a second. Meetup, meetup. Creator ID, yeah. I only work on this. Creator, okay. Maybe it's creator instead. Let's see. Organizer is required. Okay, so, so yeah, okay, I see. So maybe, so to be very frank with you, I actually like that more than creator, right? But let's, let's leave creator. It's okay. Um, so where, where was the one that we were testing? Uh, get meetup, right? Yeah. Uh, meetup response. Yeah, exactly. So here it's going to be creator, I assume. Let's try that first and try to get it again. Date is required. Okay. Uh, and that's that's incorrect. So we're going to update that fella. Where is the date? Date, date. Yeah. So this thing actually doesn't have a date at all. Meetup body schema. No, that's... HOF, uh, are you fake? I don't know, man. Whatever you feel. If you feel like to be wanna, you want to be fake today, man, I, I support you, man. I support you, whatever you say, man. I support you, bro. How much time have I spent? I don't know, man. I don't measure time. I do this as a hobby. I enjoy it. I don't quantify or measure it, measure it in time. You know, most of my streams are coding or talking to you guys, so it's impossible to quantify the, the productive time, right? Because if I wanted to be productive, I wouldn't be streaming at the first place, right? Organizer is required, okay. Organizer, okay. Organizer, yep. Creator. Beautiful, okay. So there we go. So that kind of works. So we can get a meetup now. Now the question is, you know, do we want to include other tables like members, right? Uh, and let's try to update. So now we can be kind of a bit careful here and do this. So we can include the this, right? We can make this an array. So basically those are just left joins, right? So we're doing some joins here. We say... No, it's like model, models dot meetup members, right? As members, right? Meetup members is not associated to meetup. Interesting. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Meetup members. That's that's funny. Meetup uh meetup ID user ID. Interesting. But we do have a junction table, right? Isn't this a junction table that we have? So how come it says it's not associated unless I didn't actually initialize those things? Ah, I probably didn't. I probably didn't, right? I think we forgot to... Did we uh, create associations for um, meetup? I don't remember actually. I think that's probably the problem. That's probably the problem. Meetup member schema. Let's actually uh, discover that. I think we just forgot to do that, right? 
So if we go over here and we go to meetup member schema, yeah, nah, yeah, we actually do have associations, model users through model meetup members, foreign key meetup ID, that's correct as members, yes. So that's all correct, yeah. Mem meetup member. All right, uh, let's use the robot for more help. Wait, wait, where is this stuff? Are, are you talking about JSON web token? Uh, I increased the duration of J expiry date of JSON web token to seven days, right? So now when you log in, you should not be asked to log in in a week. Where's my, uh, Jesus Christ, uh, meetup members. Where is, did I close it by accident? Um, yeah, I think I did. Give me a second. I just need the help from a robot. Yeah, but I think I, I didn't we didn't we establish those relations? I think we did, right? Let's go let's go up here, right? So we have a meetup. Let's just debug it. It's way faster pasting the fella here than uh I'm using uh SQLize JS. I don't think you should need to, uh, maybe, maybe, look, maybe. Meetup scheme. Okay, let's let's give it a shot, right? I, I I don't actually know. I don't genuinely know, right? So let's extend this fella, right? And uh, yeah, and then let's uh, let's extend the user itself, right? But it's it's hard to, to, to tell, right? We'll see in a moment. Ah, okay. There's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. User belongs to many meetups, true, through models, meetup members. Is that how they're called? Yes, meetup members. Yes, foreign key user ID, other key meetup ID as meetup. So that's that's kind of correct, right? Yes. Uh, give me a moment here. Uh, set up uh, Postgres. Let me do this. Yeah, this is this this is a bit painful.
Pokemon Robot, you can do it. So, it, so that's that's good, it says. It says, hey man, that's all great. That's great, Alex. It's all good. We have used the alias option as in two separate associations. So we have the same, but where did we do that? Model JS line 77, okay. Uh, and that's in API. So meetups model line 77. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Model user belongs to... I think it's probably that. Yeah, this is a bit strange, honestly. Um, new profile picture, exactly. All right, so that kind of works, right? But does it, right? No, not really, right? So fuck, that sucks, man. Okay. So wait, let's undo this. So wait, meetup model. Yeah, so, yeah, so this definitely kind of belongs, right, in the... This typically would be on, in the user, in the, on the user end, right? but it's not really, so let's actually see. Yeah, it is over here, right? So this is where we defined it. Okay, that's great, right? Uh, so let's fix it up. Uh, where Where is it? Yeah, here, so we can then nuke that, right? Then where is this fella? Ooh, okay. Horses meetups, yeah. I think it's this, right? No, it isn't, no. Meetup belongs to many users, foreign key creator ID as creator, that's correct. Meetup has many events, that's also correct. Foreign keys, this as events also. Then Meetup belongs to many users, also correct. Um, through models, Meetup members, foreign key Meetup ID, other key as members. So that's kind of correct, right? Uh, and then what do we have here? user belongs to many models.meetup, I guess that's correct. Meetup members. User belongs to call with something that's not a So that's correct. So it doesn't like some model name, let's see. You have used alias the members too, right? So I think we have this in two places. Is it this one or which one is it then? No, nope. so hard, man. Okay, wait. So user belongs to many meetups. from model meetup members, yeah. 
JC, sounds good. Thank you very much for coming as always. Very much appreciated. You too, JC. You too. Likewise. So it is, it is this guy right here. So it's this thing that it's complaining about. Yeah. So we have this in, in here. Then we have this association here when it, yeah. And this is meetup members. So how did, yeah, that's a bit awkward, right? So let's maybe move this fella over here instead. So is this a meetup? Yeah. And then let's remove it from the user. Ah, I see. Okay. Okay. So that is the problem. I see. Okay. Still, I don't think this solves the problem though, right? If we do this, meetup members is not associated to meetup. So we still get the same issue. Hmm. Yeah, that's 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 annoying, right? That's that's definitely annoying. Let me restart the server. Uh meetup, let's say meetup. So that would be which junction table? So this would be meetup members, right? The meetup member consists of a meetup ID and user ID. Maybe it should be creator ID, right? Instead, maybe that's that's what the actual issue is, right? Um, uh, where was this? Where was this? Yeah, this one, right? So maybe creator ID instead, right? No, 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 shit, that's completely wrong. That's completely wrong. No, no, that's wrong. That is wrong. Uh, wait a minute, what else did I change? Yeah, so that's wrong. Let me just take a look at it again. Meetup members. So we have a user ID and meetup ID. That's correct. Um, user ID, meetup. So this is actually correct as well, honestly. Models, user, yeah, that's also correct. user ha belongs to many meetups through model setup uh, meetup members that's correct foreign key user id other key meetup id as meetups yeah so shit man i swear that's good that looks good to me so why are we meetup members is not associated ah, to meetup mm. wait a minute All right, let me let me check the robot again. And I think we did this, right? Mm. 
But why is this alias called meetups? Yeah, I think this is wrong, right? Shouldn't this be like members or something, right? Right? I think that's problematic, right? Hmm, interesting. Okay. I think that's that's the issue, isn't it? Meetup members is not associated to meetup. Um, No, no, it is meetup members, right? So it's 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 the table that I have. It's called meetup members, not meetup member, unless, yeah. So you can see the table is called meetup members. Uh, you can see it here, right? So it's definitely plural, right? Uh, not a singular. Um, So strange. Uh, wait a minute. Through models, meetup members. Meetup members. Yeah, that's correct. Foreign key user IDs. Yeah, so we definitely this is this is this is a correct junction table, right? We have a meetup. Why can't I like? Yeah, meetup ID, yeah, that's correct. Is it maybe? No, no, but I think this is, you will write this in a, in a yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, shit, man, maybe, I think this has to be a string, actually and not the reference to an object. I think this has to be like this, right? I don't actually remember, honestly. I, I, you don't do this in SQLize every day, right, to memorize it. So I don't actually remember. Uh, give me a second, meetups. Maybe there isn't actually any difference, but still. Yeah, we're still getting this so strange, man. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's all good. I genuinely believe we did everything right. The only thing that could be wrong, basically, is the order in which we initialize this, right? Let me take a look at that. This for sure could be a problem, right? So. Meetup members is not associated. Interesting. What if we don't actually alias it? What happens then?
I'm using a SQLized JS. SQLized JS. Yeah, so maybe, yeah, super interesting. Um, so let me go to the user again. Where is the user thing, right? So I think this was the thing that it told us to do, right? My pleasure, man. Thanks for asking. Mm. Yeah, that sucks, man. I should at the front end. Give me a second. Mm. Elias, good evening, buddy. How how is life? Haven't seen you in a while. Uh, what was this? All right, let's go to meetups here. Let's check the associations here. So we have, uh, we have meetup. Hmm. Uh, it, it is, yeah, definitely. Meetup members, let's take a look at that meetup members schema. Maybe that's what we're missing. Yes. Oh man, come on. So, so unexpected. Didn't expect to be wasting time on this crap. I'm using Hetzner and I'm paying around 25 euros a month. But I'm self hosting everything and doing all the infrastructure manually myself. But you can pay five euros as well. I mean, it's it it does it really boils down to what you need. Ah. What a bummer. What a bummer. What a bummer. I'm just going to try one hack. I don't think it has anything to do with that. Just still worth giving a shot. Let me just take a look at one thing. Yeah, that's correct. All right, so it has no significance whatsoever. Got it. All right, never mind then. Uh, so let's see. So model meetup. 
So it belongs to many meetups through meetup members, user ID, foreign key, other key. Notorious, good day. It happens, man, to all of us. It's gonna happen many times again. Get used to it. Uh, <laughs> I feel your pain, man. Yeah, so that that's a bummer, honestly. Like... Uh, Maybe I'm just a, a bit brain dead, but that doesn't really matter, right? Uh, um, so, th so this reference is good. User ID references model user, right? Give me one second. Yeah, that's also correct. Let me just review stuff. Yeah, honestly, all looks good. Meetup ID. Creator ID. The only the only kind of assumption I have though here is that the meetup itself has a creator ID, not the user ID. So, but then the junction table meetup members has a meetup ID and a user ID, right? Um, but that shouldn't matter, right? Should it? Meetup members is not associated to, to meetup, right? Uh, uh, let's ask it. Is it maybe because my meetup has a creator ID and not a user ID, and junction and junction table uh, meetup members? has a user ID and meetup ID. Let's let's give it a shot. Who knows? So hard. I will figure it out. Uh, where is it? Users. Is this the thing that it suggested? Yeah, so it makes no difference, right? Interesting. So now at this point, I'm wondering. Armando, good evening, buddy. 
where is my where is my actual uh where where's my controller over here right Oh, so that's the problem maybe, right? In this case, when you're defining include part of a query, you should be referring to the user model since the members of the meetup are actually users. Yeah. So maybe that's the problem, right? Maybe that was the issue, right? So maybe it's saying, hey, it's the user because the user, so we're referencing the user through that, through the actual uh, meetup members, right? So meetup not found. So now it actually works, right? Yeah, okay. That's a bummer. Okay, so that was the issue. Well, that's that's what it is. Great. Okay, good. So let's create a create a meetup again, right? Let's create one. And then let's try to get that, right? And then as you can see, now it works. And we are so this join that we're doing here actually works, right? Um Hopefully you can code better and not worse. But thanks for thanks thanks for coming by, man. Did actually did any of you sign up on Programmer Network this stream? Actually, let me take a look. I hope you did. If you're planning to follow me and stuff, yeah, some people did. Like, please come on, take two minutes and go sign up if you didn't already. I would appreciate it very much. Um, all right, so that's great. So that works now. Beautiful. Um, Great, that's that's really good. That's really good. Okay, uh, where is our stuff? Okay, here, right? So, yes. Uh, right. Okay, great. So we have get a meetup, create a meetup, update a meetup, right? So that's all great. Um, I guess next one would be to join a meetup. Let's do that one, right? So let's, uh, will this project ever become open source? Who knows, right? Right now I have no plans for that, but I've learned in my life to never say never, right? So maybe one day it will, maybe it will not. Who knows, right? It's, it's a question that I often ask myself as well, right? Honestly. So it's a good question, right? I, I don't genuinely know. Right now, I have no plan to do that because it would make no sense for me. But who knows, right? Maybe one day, maybe one day, who knows? Mm, interesting. Wow. Okay. That's uh, that's wrong. Hey, let's test this out. Okay, wow, it seems that it works. So if we get a meetup now, so yeah, you can see that now you can actually enroll in a meetup, right? So you can become a, so basically what we did, if we go back here, right, so far, so we now made it so you can become a member of a meetup, like they have it here. So that's what we mimicked now. So now I have joined my own meetup that I created, right? So that's great. Uh, let's actually double check that though. To create a meetup, join meetup. Yeah. So what is this response? False. Yes. Object meetup ID. Correct. If no meetup, meetup not found. If no user, user not found. Beautiful. Okay, that's uh, that's really good. That's really good. Uh, okay, let's keep on going. Um, let's close a bit of this stuff, actually. Did we save that one, though? Let's take a look. Where's our postman? Yeah, we did save it. Great. Uh, what, what would be the next one we do? Um, so creating, updating, getting... 
the only one we didn't do basically is the delete, right? And uh, that's probably the least relevant one, right? Lenny, good evening, buddy. Not much, just building an API for this new feature we're doing. So hopefully tomorrow we're gonna finalize it and also start with the UI. This whole stream, we're building the backend for it, right? And then we're gonna need to do the events as well. So you can create an event, blah, blah, blah. And this, I know the events themselves, I think we're gonna have to modify them, but because I probably I'll want to have the event is gonna, the event will have multiple organizers potentially, right? So we'll have to most likely extend the um, meetup event right here. So we're gonna have, you're gonna have meetup event organizers table, right? So, because uh, multiple people will be able to organize an event, right? So actually let's, um, Let's ask the robot to do it. So let's say, create a, an additional model called uh, meetup event organizers as multiple people will be able to organize an event together. We're not gonna do it now, but just so for tomorrow we can we can have it basically. Organizer ID, exactly. Yeah, so we'll just smack it in there. We're not gonna do it now. And then we'll fix that tomorrow. So, so yeah, so that's definitely not gonna work now, but uh, to do next stream, just so we have it actually here. So we're gonna have that table basically. So when somebody creates an event, organizes event, they can involve multiple organizers at once. Okay, great. Yeah, Armando, you can write whatever you want, man, of course. And then eventually we'll also need to write, for all these tables, we'll need to write migration files, right? But that should be simple. So once we kind of get to the point of production, uh, we'll need to generate the migration files. So, but that should be, that should be fine, I guess. Um, and I think ultimate question when it comes to deleting a meetup is like, uh, should we delete all the all the events as well, right? Delete a meetup. And yeah, we'll just uh, we'll just do something like this, right? We're gonna say delete, right? Uh, and then, yeah, fundamentally, like I said, um, uh, if we go to headers, cookie, uh, I think, yeah, so, so delete should be delete, right? Um, I think for now, what we should actually do, instead of deleting it, we should maybe do soft delete or something like that, right? Bounty. good evening, my friend. We'll see maybe, we'll see about that maybe tomorrow. I, we don't need to do it now. Yeah. 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 All right, guys, let's round it up. I want to see my wife a bit before she goes to bed and before I go to bed. Uh, Bounty, I'm sorry you just joined and I'm leaving. But I need to I need to work tomorrow as well. So let's uh, 
let's round uh, let's round up so basically in the next couple of days we're gonna be so this is the plan for the next couple of days Kirill right back at you my friend uh this is gonna be our plan for the next upcoming days so we're gonna be building pretty much a version for programmers of meetup.com right so we're gonna be building this as part of our platform and it's gonna be free you know compared to this and that's because as i said before once I'm back from my vacation, I'm going to start the... Thank you very much, man. Thank you very much. Um, but yeah, for the context, we're going to be building something, this type of feature for Programmer Network. And um, as I said, I'll be I'll be uh, doing a JavaScript meetup in Copenhagen again, and I want to make sure to get people to sign up and, you know, through sharing this event, uh, uh, sharing the stream, Sorry, sh sharing the meetup on LinkedIn and some other platforms. So that's that's going to be the plan. So yeah, that's what it is, fellas. Thank you very much for being here. Um, I need to go now. I need to eat something and see my wife. And uh, I'll catch you guys up tomorrow. Uh, I'm wishing uh, all of you a great night. Thank you for coming. And we see each other tomorrow. Peace out, folks. Have a great one. Good night. Bye-bye. Cheers. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye.